Rogers outfits demystified. I see confusion about Rogers outfit names all the time. Like every day. My aim is always to assist in getting proper information out there and help whenever I can. I dedicate a large portion of my life to this stuff. Am I correct 100% of the time? Of course not. I'm a student of the game here as well. But I really try to get accurate information disseminated to help decrease the spread of misinformation and also create a resource for those who are unsure of certain details. Now I'm not going to go over every outfit that ever existed, but I'll try to touch on the ones most commonly confused and incorrectly labeled from the Swivomatic era, and more specifically, the Ohio era, which is where my interest lies. I think it's important to mention that all outfits in this video, with the exception of the Delta and Comet outfits, will have holiday shells. The Delta and the Comet will have tower shells. Holiday was discontinued as an outfit name in 1957. From there forward, Holiday is strictly Roger's separate lug shell offering, where the tower is the center lug shell offering. It is also important to mention that Rogers was the only drum company to name their outfits based on the designated placements of the plates on the bass drum. It has nothing to do with the size of the drums or anything at all aside from the plate placement. Let's quickly go over the plates that will be mentioned in this video. First, the three style of collet plates. The 310R, which is a 90 degree straight mount. The 311R, which is an angle mount to be placed lower on the bass drum and the 312R, which is a short angle mount for mounting slightly to the left or right of center. Then of course there is the knobby plate, and lastly, another center mounted plate. This time, instead of a collet, it will have a U-clamp and thumb screw for tensioning. In this video, I'll refer to this as the Londoner plate. Now that that is out of the way, let's talk about some outfits. I'll start with the one I probably see confused the most, the top hat outfit. The top hat will have one 310R center mounted on the bass drum which is intended to accept the hex rod of the 365R twin tom holder. Not to be confused with the Londoner which will have the aforementioned Londoner plate that looks like this. In the same position and is intended to accept the 366 dual tom holder. These two are completely different animals. The Londoner replaced the top hat outfit right around the 66-67 range, of course taking into consideration some overlap. The original top hat that was introduced in the 59R catalog would be equipped with one plate for each tom. But by the 60R catalog it had changed to the top hat as we know it with the single 310R plate center mounted. The headliner, which was originally billed as the Buddy Rich headliner until Rogers and Buddy parted ways around 1967, will have one 312R mount in the tom position and a knobby plate in the ride cymbal position. The headliner is often confused with the Starlighter outfit. The Starlighter, billed as the Roy Burns Starlighter and being introduced around 1967, like the headliner will have a knobby in the ride cymbal position, but will have a 311R plate mounted below the lug lower on the bass drum as seen here in these diagrams from the inspection book of a Rogers employee. A lot of the Starlighters you'll see will have a 22 inch bass drum, but could be ordered with a 22 or a 20. The numbers you'll see on these diagrams differ from the plate number parts because they represent the entire mounting system, the plate and the mount. For example, this is the system that would be mounted on a headliner outfit. Now to further confuse things, there is a Buddy Rich 3 star outfit which is simply a headliner outfit minus the floor tom, the more affordable option. We will see a couple very similar situations soon with other outfits. Another set of outfits that are often confused are the Constellation and the Celebrity. Their plates are actually in the same location, only the Celebrity uses two knobbies and a collet, where the Constellation uses three collet plates. They are positioned as you see here. The original Constellation up until about 1959 had an entirely different plate configuration which was sort of an A-frame as seen here. The original Constellation also had a more affordable floor tomless option called the Meteor. Right around 1960, the center mounted plate moved to the left and became the constellation outfit that it remained for the duration of its existence. Then there's the swing time, possibly my favorite of the cataloged outfits. A swing time will have its plates in the same location as the headliner, only instead of a knobby plate in the symbol position, 
It has a 311R angle collet plate for a hex cymbal arm. Now like the headliner and Constellation have the floor timeless version mentioned earlier called the 3 star and Meteor, the swing time also has a version called the Viking. This takes us to the Citation and the Citadel. These are actually the exact same outfit that simply had its name changed by CBS. Pre-CBS ownership, an outfit with a 312R collet plate in the tom position and no other plate at all on the bass drum was a citation. Post-CBS purchase, this same outfit was renamed the Citadel. Simple as that. The Citadel, previously the citation, was originally called the Playboy outfit until around 1964. There's the Delta outfit, which has two 311R plates positioned as you see here on a tower center lug style bass drum shell. One in the lower tom position and one in the cymbal position. The floor tomless version of this outfit is called the Comet. As shown by this inspection book diagram, it has the same exact mounting system in the same exact positions. There's an interesting outfit called the Orbit that has two 311R collet plates, one in the low tom position and one in the cymbal position. This unique set actually had a 12 inch deep bass drum as opposed to the standard 14 inch deep. These could be a 12 by 20 or a 12 by 22, customer's choice. Then of course you have the oddball outfits that are not cataloged standard outfits, but possibly customer special orders. Sometimes they are extra plates added by retailers, sometimes by a previous owner. The two that I own are indeed factory drilled. I call this 62 in Black Onyx a Constellation Plus, and this 65 in Wine Red Ripple a Headliner Plus. There are many examples of factory drilled special order outfits. We could spend all day going over more outfits, but I think we've covered plenty here and hit most of the ones I see commonly confused. Click right over here to see some pretty cool interviews with family members of some of the most important Rogers representatives ever. And thank you for watching.